lifestyle lovers welcome back to it's a lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's a lifestyle and it is all about creating the lifestyle that you love so lifestyle lovers today let me sit y'all down today is actually saturday and i'm getting ready to run some errands baby this forehead is foreheading right now okay um, I'm headed to get a face show if you've seen the last vlog. If you have not, make sure you go check that out. But um, my boyfriend is planning to take me on a trip for my birthday, honey. So I'm just preparing, prepping, doing my little self-care stuff. So I'm going to get a facial. I'm going to get my hair done. Um, in a few days, I'm going to get some braids, some bohemian, bohemian goddess braids um i thought about getting my lashes done but i decided against it i'm just gonna take some strips because i used to get my lashes done and when i say done i mean like the individuals um probably when i was in my let me just say 30s um but i haven't gotten them done individuals in probably about 10 years so the last thing that i want to do is spend 120 dollars to get my lashes done and they start getting on my damn nerves, irritating my eyes, and I can't rub and do how I want to do. I don't want anything constricting me like that. So um, I'm just going to, you know, buy some strips. And what I've been doing is just buying the, ma the magnetic strips. And the reason because they're easier to put on. The lash line is a little bit thicker. It's not like really flimsy and soft like a regular pair of lashes. So I've just been purchasing the magnetic strips using lash glue and they are so easy to apply. Um, I did get a Sephora order yesterday. I just wanted to share that with you guys and I actually need to put on some sunscreen so the only thing that i got from sephora is the dermalogical special cleansing gel this is what i use at night and the am i've been using the youth to the people um the youth to the people wa uh, facial wash but they were sold out so i may check sephora while i run my errands and also my all-time favorite moisturizer i don't have to use it that much in the winter months but it's about to get hot and I use the Marad Oil and Pore Control Mattifying with the SPF. So matter of fact, let me put some of that on now. Um, this moisturizer is probably about $40, but it is so worth it if you are a oily girl, such as myself. So I'm just gonna put some on because it is kinda, kinda sunny, sunny today. So this is what I had that came from Sephora yesterday. I may go into Sephora while I'm running my errands. And then I got my birthday gift, which is from Glow Recipe. So it is my birthday month. So this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Toner. And I've been wanting to try this. So that came in the birthday gift as well as the Glow Recipe um, Niacinamide Dew Drops. And I think I've I already used this. I use this one, but um, I've never tried the toner, so I can try these two together. I'm going to just show you guys what I'm wearing. I may do a blazer. Um, I try not to keep wearing the same thing over and over again because you guys see me in the same clothes over and over, but it's just because this stuff is comfortable and I love it. So, what I'm wearing is just like a, uh, this is a faux leather bustier. This is from Express, as well as some biker shorts, shorts, which are also, I think these are from Express as well. I believe so. Um, and then I have my Panda Dunks, honey. My Panda Dunks. And I think I may do a blazer because it's a little chilly outside today. So I got my blazers from Babe. He actually, uh, I just give him my stuff and he get, takes it to the cleaners. Um, but I think a few vlogs back, I was telling you guys that I could not find my navy blue blazer and I was thinking it was in the cleaners. Oh, 
Baby, this is not clean. Oh my, I don't like the way they look. Okay, this is what, look at that. It look like it's a stain on it. I'm gonna have to tell him about that. I do not like the way that look. They don't mess up my damn blazer. Um, but this is one of the blazers that was in the cleaners. That looks like it still has a stain on it. This is my navy blue blazer that I was telling you guys that I had been searching frantically for. And this is actually a white blazer that I may throw on with this. Let me see. So I got to look in the mirror. How does that look, y'all? Just. And then for my bag. I'm just going to do my Valentino rock stud. So, um, oh shoot. So I'm headed to get like a diamond glow facial and they actually do something with real diamonds. I'm not going to take my camera, but I do have like a new phone that I showed you guys on the last vlog. I purchased the iPhone 14 that is specifically for content so I can use my phone for myself. So I do have my iPhone 14, so I may take some footage if I can, but, um, and I am going to do a little shopping for my trip. Well, I'm going to try to, I have an express gift card that babe gave me for Valentine's day. Um, so I'm going to see what express has. I do want to get another, like, uh, half a bra, like, a what do they call like the miracle bra from Victoria's Secret. I want to get some black panties. So I am going to do a little shopping in this trip. So I'll check back in with you guys once I get to my destination, honey. Okay, lifestyle lover. So I had to kind of go upstairs and look in my mirror to see if I liked this white blazer. And I do. I just rolled the sleeves up to make it a little bit more casual look since I am wearing sneakers. So I just kind of took the sleeves and rolled them up and it makes it look uh, more casual less dressy because this is like a you know like a work blazer that i use for work so i just wanted to kind of show you guys the look for my shades let's see i've already sprayed my perfume but i'm wearing versace yellow diamond which is one of my favorites and then i'm going to do my lv shades um so this is the look for running errands and getting a facial. Bye. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I made it to the mall. It's so damn crowded out here. I hate coming out here, especially on a Saturday. But I'm going to try to kind of um, run in a few stores. My facial appointment is at 345. So it's a probably about 2.15. So I got like a little bit, like an hour or, or so to kind of run in some stores. I have a uh, Express gift card. I also have an Apple gift card. Um, what else? I want to take something back to Victoria's Secret. Bay. bought me these uh, pants set pajamas for Valentine's Day. And it's about to get hot. So I don't want no pants. I want shorts. So I'm gonna take those back. I'm just putting everything in my purse. I'm going to take my iPhone. And um, I don't know how much I'm gonna be vlogging because I'm like on a time crunch, but um, I'm taking you guys with me. So let's go shopping. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free to the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'll be swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I'll do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up I do roll 
like a Mack truck Cut you hard, I'ma cop a farm and go act up Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up Keep it real, I do this once a month, I don't rap much I just take the money and go stack up Only buying car, 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 car to get tatted up All that other bull, it don't matter much You only climb me, I put the ladders up No fault, I done doubled up on the workload I think I fell in love with the bankroll Pray up, get money, then we lay low Then we lay low Add it up, add it up Bankroll, bankroll Euro, Euro Peso, peso Add it up, add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up Bankroll, bankroll Euro, Euro Peso, peso Add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? But this is all of my dead skin from the facial. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lifestyle lovers, happy Sunday. So today is Sunday. I just kind of been washing some clothes, cleaning up, getting prepared for the week, getting prepared for my trip. Um, but I wanted to kind of come on and kind of show you guys what I got from the mall yesterday. I did a little bit of damage. <laughs> Um, not intentionally because I really had gift cards. I had a gift card for Hand and Stone, um, is where I got my facial, Hand and Stone Massage and Spa. Um, but the facial ended up costing $200. I did not know it was that expensive, but the gift card that I had, Babe bought me last year. And the gift card was actually for a service. So I could have, I could have gotten a regular facial or a massage but the diamond glow facial is considered an upgrade so it was like 110 dollars for the upgrade that was not including the tip that i tipped the esthetician so um but do y'all see a difference because i don't see no goddamn difference but but anyway um maybe <clears throat> maybe i noticed it in a couple of days i know she did advise me not to exfoliate for at least three days so I'm not going to do my um, my exfoliation, my liquid exfoliation, or my daily microfolding for a couple of days. Uh, but that was one of the things that I got. But I don't really notice much of a difference, to be honest. I did my regular skincare. I did go into Sephora. I guess I'll start with skincare because I went into Sephora and I purchased the kale and green tea superfood cleanser. So this is actually very trendy on social media, um, specifically YouTube, but this is like my third bottle of this super food cleanser. I love it. My daughter said she tried it, it didn't do much for her. So, you know, you kind of have to try stuff on your own, but I love it. This is my third bottle. I know it's kind of trendy, but it works for me. I absolutely love it. And I also have a mask from them as well. I'll, I'll link it, not link it, but I'll kind of put it to the side so you guys can see it. I always forget to use it. It's an overnight mask. It's like one of their glow masks, but I have that from this line as well. But I picked this up and it was actually sold out because I just did a Sephora order where I shared with you guys my 
moisturizer that I use with the SPF as well as as well as my dermatological cleanser this was sold out so um, I wasn't able to get it online but I think it's back in stock and I picked it up in store and also I picked up this caffeine solution it says reduces appearance of eye contour pigmentation and puffiness so I seen this somewhere I can't remember I can't remember where I seen this at I either seen it on Sephora's bestseller list or I either seen this on Sephora's bestseller list or in a beauty magazine why is it I'm just my lighting it keeps it like it keeps getting dark um so I tried this because currently I'm not using anything for my under eye I just kind of you know push my moisturizer or my serum or whatever I use on my face but I don't have anything specifically for my under eye so I when I seen this I've had it in my head that I wanted to try it um, but like I said, I think it was on either Sephora's bestseller list or in a beauty magazine for, you know, like under eye darkness or whatever. So those are the two things that I purchased from Sephora. I did, I told you guys I wanted to get like, I needed a new half bra for my trip because the one that I have currently is, I need a new one. So they had the bras on sale, 30% that is in store and online. It does have the removable straps as well. I wear the bombshell bras um, just, just to help me get a little lift. Uh, so this is what this is. This is the bombshell bra and I wear like a 34C. And it was 30% off. I probably should have got another one. But I just end up getting this one for my trip. So you guys check Victoria's Secret out. And also from Victoria's Secret, I just returned some pajamas. Babe had bought me some pajamas for Valentine's Day, but he meant to grab the shorts. And he told me I could I could take it back if I wanted to, so I did. So I probably just packed this for my trip. It's just the the short. It has like the pink, the black with the pink trim. And I got it in a size medium. I can wear a medium or a small, but the medium is a little bit more looser fit. So I just got it in a size medium. And then I went to Apple, which I had a gift card for Apple as well. Um, that babe had got me a gift card for Apple when I was telling him I needed a charger. <laughs> so he just got me a gift card for Apple. Um, but I got a phone case for the new phone. So this is the OtterBox phone case this is for the new 14 that i shared with you guys on the last vlog and i just like protective phone cases that's very important to me i really don't care about real cute fancy phone cases i need something that's going to protect my phone if it drops so this is what i got and then i also needed a charger for my car I did not have a proper phone charger. I had one, but baby, it's raggedy. And it wasn't Apple. So I prefer to use Apple products opposed to the kind that you get from the gas station. Because what I've heard is those can kind of mess up your phone if you if you continue to use them. So I had been using one temporary, but this is like just to charge my phone up in the car for the USB. And then I got some ear pods because I use my cell phone a lot when I'm home for work. So the, the ear pods that I had before, um, child, they was ragged. I'm talking about uh, the cord coming up out of them. So I just got a new pair of ear pods because I actually need these when I'm working. When I make phone calls and I do interviews when I'm home, I needed these. So this is what I got from Apple. And then I also, from Express, I was trying very hard to find some clothes, but I did not find anything that I felt like I needed to come home with, except for this damn trench coat. So I'm just gonna insert while I tried it on in the store. I have been stalking this trench coat, and it's not that thick. 
So it's perfect for spring. Look at the color. Lifestyle lovers, look at the color. It is such a beautiful, vibrant pink. Um, and it's not that thick, so it's perfect for the spring. But I was looking for something to wear with it. I could not find anything to wear with it. So I think I'm gonna just do all white. I'm still working on an outfit with this coat. So this was the only thing that I got from Express. I had a gift card for Express as well. Plus, they had the entire store 30% off. So if you've been eyeing something, check them out. You cannot use coupons, but everything is 30% off. And um, that's pretty much all that I came home with. So far as today is concerned, Mookie has practice, getting ready to take him to practice. Um, I'm just kind of prepping for the week. That's it. Um, so yeah, I'm washing clothes, cleaning up. That's pretty much it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a chill Sunday. So I'm not sure what else is in store, but if I do something that's vlog worthy, I'll turn the camera back on. If not, I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow because I have some items coming from J-Lux label that's arriving tomorrow um, for my trip. So I may, you know, kind of try those on with you guys so you can kind of see because I'm excited about it. One of them is a dinner dress and the other one is like a two piece number with, you know, your stomach out. So uh, I need to, oh shit. I need to walk around the track so I can get this stomach right. But, um, but yeah, so I'll check back in with you guys a little later. This might be TMI my lifestyle lovers, but I just tried on the new bra that I just shared with you guys. And girl, look how they sitting up, honey. I'm about to order me another one of these in nude. I love it. Oh, girl, girl, they make your girl look like she got sweat. I also... I also purchased some, um, I ain't going to pull them out and all of that stuff, but I also purchased some panties from Pink. I'm going to get all of my business. I'll talk to y'all later because I can't talk how I want to talk with him over there. Okay, lifestyle lovers, it's a little bit later on in the evening, so um, I'm getting ready to go to Babe's house. He's gonna put some chicken on the grill. So I am cooking the sides. So I have some cabbage in this pot and some yellow rice in this pot, which I need to turn down, okay. And then I'm going to do some juicing. I'm trying to get Babe on the juice bandwagon. So. I'm actually going to make um, a juice to take over to his house. Let me sit you guys down. Girl, I'm showing all my business. Let me see. So I'm trying to get him on the juice bandwagon because I am going to do another juice cleanse probably once we get back from our trip. And I think I'm gonna do it, try to do it for two days. And he said he's gonna try to do it with me. But that's something that he hasn't ever done before so I just kind of want to give him a little bit of taste of the juices so this I found this recipe on Pinterest and it's supposed to be a very good morning juice recipe so I probably drink it in the morning but I'm gonna take it over to his house so he can kind of taste it but it's four carrots four oranges four celery stalks and four green apples and I purchased these glass juice bottles from Amazon. You guys know I'm gonna link them below. They're 18 ounces. That's the wash and dry your child going crazy. But they're 18 ounces and I also purchased these like sleeves. I must be, um, the washer is must be uneven. So when it's uneven, girl, it just rock, 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 rock. So I purchased these sleeves to go over the juice bottles. They come in, you got like squeeze it on now. But this is pretty much how it looks. They come in several different colors. There's a red one over there. This is the gray one. You have blue, orange, 
green, and yellow. So the only thing about juicing, in my opinion, is you just kind of kind of have to prepare in advance. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to make a juice so Babe can taste it and see if he likes it. Um, but that's pretty much what I'm doing, lifestyle lovers. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but our kids are on spring break. Um, we're not going to do a trip or anything. We're just going to plan to take the kids somewhere once school is out. But Mookie went to the carnival with his friends and a parent. You know, um, their dad, one of his friend's dad took them to a carnival. So he's hanging out today and they're on spring break this week. But he pretty much has practice every day because they have a show coming up. So, um, so yeah. So I'll probably check back in with you guys once I get to babe's house maybe looks like it's gonna rain outside but i'm just trying to finish up the sides he's gonna grill the chicken and we'll just you know chill just a typically just a typical chill sunday for us good morning lifestyle lovers so it is the top of the morning got my infamous nike hat on i'm headed to get my hair braided um, so I'm going to get some, what is it called? Bohemian, Bohemian goddess braids or something. You guys will see it. Um, but this girl named Olivia Love, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll link her IG below, but my cousin seen her hair or someone hair that she did. And, um, she was the one that, you know, had an appointment like right away. So um, the other braiders, some, some braiders that I looked at here in Jacksonville, they were kind of booked out for months and weeks or whatever. So I'm just kind of packing my stuff. Um, I have my morning juice, which is carrots, oranges, apples, and celery. So I have that. These are the uh, glass bottles that I shared with you earlier. And then I have my H2O more h2o i'm packing my bag i got some socks just in case i want to get comfortable and put on my sock um and i have my work laptop i'm on vacation today because she said it's going to take like seven hours and i did not want anyone to be calling me and me not to be able to pick up my phone but i'm going to prep for me taking vacation kind of clean up my work um so I did bring my work laptop, but I do plan to do a little bit of work, do a little bit of social media stuff. She told me to get a 20 inch bundle of human hair. It, Bohemian wave child, I guess this is it. I hope this is it. But she said 20 inch, she said I could have got the Bohemian curl. So this is the hair that I purchased and then the braiding hair she's going to provide um so yeah i'm getting ready to get my hair did i had like a kind of crisis with my birthday dress that i was planning to wear i'll share that with you guys once i get back home hopefully everything will work out fingers crossed but i'll tell you guys a little bit about um i ordered what i thought was a dress and it ended up coming as a corset um but i'll tell you about that i'll tell you guys about that later i'll see you guys once i get my hair dear girl i am loving loving my kitchen good morning lifestyle lovers it is the top of the morning as you can see i got my hair dear girl And I absolutely love it. She finished probably about 8.30 last night. It took her 10 hours. And I love it. It looks so good. Um, I'll link her information below. I think she did a really good job. It took a while. Um, so my only thing that I had an issue with was I thought she was going to be in a shop. So when I first booked the appointment, um, my cousin Brittany found her. Thank you, Brittany. If you're watching, cousin, she found her. She seen either her or someone's hair that she done. 
and she um, sent me her information so I was able to just go ahead and book right away so when you book this this was two hundred and fifty dollars so this is called bohemian knotless braids bohemian knotless braids and this hair that I shared with you guys earlier is human hair so it's called bohemian knotless braids I booked so once you book you pay a twenty dollar deposit to secure your appointment so when I booked, I looked at the pictures, I was under the impression that she was in a shop or like a braiding shop or whatever. Um, and she was, but when I got there, like the morning of, she sent me like a new address and it was an apartment. So, um, yeah, I know I'm 43 years old. I'm, I'm over the days of getting my hair done in a kitchen. But when I got there, um, that's that's like my only issue because the chair that i was sitting in it wasn't like a very comfortable chair it's already uncomfortable it's already uncomfortable getting your hair done for 10 hours so by the time i got up my bike was hurting so bad so it wasn't like a chair for sitting it did not have any back support any arm support and baby i'm, I'm just too old for that <laughs> So that is my only con about um, her doing my hair, but I will link her information below. She's on Instagram as well as she has a YouTube channel. So we both kind of shared each other social media information. So Olivia, if you're watching, I love my hair, but that chair, it almost, it almost killed Auntie now. So <laughs> that's my only, you know, like downside to getting my hair done. But I'm getting ready to get out the office. I'm drinking my coffee and I'm getting ready to kind of collect my things. Um, I just wanted to share a few things with you guys before I close out the vlog. Brian has not come back um, to do what he needs to do. He hasn't reached out to me. I haven't reached out to him because I haven't had time and I'm quite sure he's probably been just as busy as me. So once things slow down for him, so once things slow down for me, I'll reach out to him because I just, I, you know, we will have to coordinate each, each other's schedules and I just don't have time right now. I'm too busy trying to prepare for my trip and, and, and do this and do this and do that. So I'm not really concerned because there's only minor things that needs to be done. However, one of you lifestyle lovers asked me about my microwave. What was I going to do with it? Because I just recently replaced it with the range hood. If you're new here, it used to be a cabinet at top and then a microwave right below it. So the microwave is in the garage. We're not without a microwave. Um, Brian kind of set it up in the garage where we can use it. You know, which is an inconvenience, but it's only temporary. So I don't know if some of you guys... Uh, miss that part in regards to the microwave but brian is going to build a cabinet on this side of my kitchen where my table is so it's where my coffee machine will go i'm gonna have to buy a new microwave but it's gonna be a small one because it'll probably go inside of a cabinet so just to kind of i'm going to kind of insert some inspiration pictures of what i've been looking at on pinterest because i'm going to customize it's going to be a floor to ceiling cabinet but i'm going to customize it to whatever i would like i can have you know drawers to pull out i can have cabinetry to open this way um it's another way where you can kind of have the cabinet it comes it like it comes out like this so i'm still deciding on how exactly i want it i know my nespresso machine will go in there and then the microwave will go in there and then i think i'm going to do some additional cabinetry for my big items like my vitamix blender my juicer things that i want to have easy access to in my kitchen so you guys are kind of get to get a visual of what's to come um so that is you know to come in the future as well as I wanted to tell you about my dilemma with my birthday dress. Uh, to take away from this part of the story, reading is fundamental. Because when I tell you, I purchased like two outfits for my trip from J-Lux Label. They had like a 25% off sale. I'm so excited. I went on there. One of the outfits is sold out, but I'm going to like put up a side by side so you can see it. I have this outfit in black, but I don't I don't think it's available in black anymore. I think they have it like in this color and another color. 
So this is one of the outfits that I ordered. I thought I was ordering a dress. And it's my own fault because I did not read. So I'm so excited. My package got, got here. This is what came. A corset. And the shit barely fit. It's a size medium. I'm going to insert what I thought I was ordering. And this is what came. So when I got the package, I'm shaking the damn package like, what? What the rest of the dress at? This is all that came. So I immediately went back to the site. The skirt is sold out. Part of my job, part of my career is trying to find a solution to problems. So what I did was I went on Pinterest and I searched J Lux label, which is, you know, who makes this J Lux label in velvet. Because I'm thinking, what the hell am I going to do with a velvet bustier? And I found a skirt. A velvet skirt. It appears to be this color purple. Um, Because this is what I was going to wear. You know, like as my birthday dinner. We're going on a real nice dinner when we go out of town. So I wanted to have something really, really nice. I went ahead and purchased a velvet skirt. It's made by J Lux Label as well. And I think it's the same color purple. I'm hoping and praying. If not, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I don't have no birthday dress. But it's supposed to come today because I reached out to the seller and asked her could she do expedited shipping. She advised that she would. So it's supposed to arrive today. So I got a velvet skirt and I got a velvet bustier. So we shall see. This is so pretty. I asked them were they going to restock in the skirt and he said probably not. They don't have any upcoming restocks coming up. So... That's my dilemma with my birthday dress, but either way, I'm going to figure it out. But that's it for this vlog, Lifestyle Lovers. I need to get out this door. I need to go ahead and start prepping my work for my vacation that's coming up. But that's pretty much it for this vlog, Lifestyle Lovers. I hope you have a great week, a great weekend whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.